For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone. We continue our preview of the 2016 football season. We've got Nick Grau, ACU kicker, and we've got special teams coordinator Mark Roboto. Nick, let's begin with you. You started last year, you got into the game against Fresno State, and then we didn't see you the rest of the year on the field. Take us through the, the, the mental challenge of going through a season like that where you missed all but one game. Um, I guess last season was pretty difficult to not be out there with everybody and kind of be out on the field with all my buddies and going through that. Um, I had the surgery and I came back. Um, it's been kind of slowly working back into kicking and uh, it's kind of hard to come back after a year of being out, but it's slowly coming back. And so we're just taking it slow reps, keeping it low, making sure we're taking our time with this so that it'll last throughout the season. The plan would be though, for you to be ready for the Air Force game? Yes, sir. Okay. Which has been more difficult, getting back into the physical swing of things or mentally? Um, I think it's a little bit of both because after a year of kind of just sitting around not being able to touch a football, you kind of start losing your groove, your kind of your rhythm. Um, physically, it's kind of been a challenge in getting, dropping my weight from after surgery, uh, getting my hips uh, moved in, uh, back into motion. A lot of my muscles are really tight, but it's just something that's a slow progress in moving through it. And the plan would be kickoffs and field goals or just field goals? I believe I'm just going to be doing field goals this season. All right. Well, we're glad to have you back. Let's talk to your coach here. Uh, coach, we found out last year you just don't go and replace a guy like Nick Grau very easily, do you? Not very easy to replace Nick Grau. He was an 80% field goal guy, and that's the that's the gold standard in college football. And he was a point getter, you know, uh, generated a lot of points for us and really reliable and just a good kicker. Well, and also, I know it, we've talked with Coach Collins about this. It changes his strategies. He makes decisions about whether or not to go for first downs uh, as he gets on the other side of the field. You do have someone to back Nick up if Nick, uh, let's say, has a moment or two where he can't go, right? Right. His name's Brendan Kahn. He's a transfer from Texas Tech. He played at Arlington High School. Uh, he's a really, really good kicker. And, uh, you know, we're just taking it one day at a time with Brendan and Nick. You know, it's really quite phenomenal that Nick's even back. Yeah, Having the really surgery is. that he had, a lot of people struggle with just daily life uh, after that kind of a surgery, and, and he's back and kicking. And he's not kicking very bad at all, but we're just gonna take it slow with him because you know, we want to bring him along the right way and not injure that back again. You also have a veteran back there, uh, 15 yards back, kicking the ball away on the punting unit, right? And Austin Kilcullen, expecting a big year from Austin? Oh, yeah. Austin's got a huge leg. You know, when he gets a hold of one, that baby just travels. And uh, he's working on his rugby punts. He's doing very well there. Uh, Cody Ennis right now is probably our backup punter, just a really versatile tight end, H-back kind of kid for us. And then, uh, of course, we got old reliable uh, Hayden Bradowski deep snapping, you know. So we're, we're, we're looking pretty good at the specialists. Last thing, last year we had, the last couple of years, you had guys like Jonathan Epps returning kicks. And those guys, we used to say, they're in scoring position whenever they drop back. Byron Proctor returned some punts and some kicks for you last year. Who would be the, the kick returners, punts and kickoffs for you this year? Well, we've got a young man, Mr. Miller, uh, one of our receivers, very Justin. good. Justin Miller, uh, uh, Mr. Fuller, a transfer. Uh, receivers looking very good. Uh, Carl, big Carl, our wide receivers looking very good. It's a real toss up. We've got some skilled people that, that can take the ball and go 80 with it. So we're, we're just going to see who, can, uh, who, who rises to the top. Well, hopefully we'll have a lot of those guys running him back into the end zone. We'll have Nick Grau kicking the extra points. And when they can't get into the end zone, Nick can kick the field goals. And good to have Austin Kilcullen back as well. For Coach Mark Roboto and Nick Grau, I'm Grant Boone for ACUsports.com.